Oh, in lane four, Jareen Richards, the world indoor it's champion over the 400 the meters and the, the defending two champion, two bidding to go back to back titles here in Birmingham. In what a racing prospect. On the outside, multiple Olympic bronze medalist and world championship gold medalist in the 4x1 for Canada, Brendan Rodney. And inside Rodney, an equally fast campaigner, Emmanuel Aseme. Barrel-chested Cameroonian, African silver in Mauritius. If he gets out well, he could perform. Is it going to be Richard's night once more? The defending champion, the world indoor champion over 400 metres. He might not get out as quickly as Hughes, but watch to see if he can close him down in the last 50. What about the world junior champion from Nigeria? Odio Onwazurike, first in his semi-final, and he looked pin sharp. Joseph Omoa of Ghana, a semi-finalist in the African Championships, a national record holder though for Ghana. If you can get close to 20.08, he could be in the shake-up. We haven't seen an African medalist in this event since 2006. Listen to the reception. Can the European champion and Olympic finalist over 100 metres this time secure the gold that went missing? Shahar Abbas of Pakistan, a national record this year. He's done brilliantly to get to this final. He's in three. Sibusio Matsinjawa. Not of Swaziland, it's now Eswatini. He's flying the flag for them from lane two. Matsunjawa, Swaziland in two. Abbas, Pakistan in three. Hughes, England four. Amoa, Ghana five. Onwazurike, Nigeria six. Richards, Trinidad seven. Asimi, Cameroon in eight. Rodney, Canada in nine. So, it's the rerun of a wonderful duel in the sunshine on the Gold Coast. Four years ago, it looked like the gold was going to the Englishman. Richards took the title in the end. Will history repeat itself here in Birmingham? The final of the men's 200 metres. Set. Watch for Hughes, he's third from the right-hand side. If he runs a good bend, he could put Richards under pressure, but the Trinidadian going well, he's up onto the Cameroonian, coming round the bend, and Richards is up. Hughes is under real pressure here. Jareem Richards driving for the line, storming to victory. It's gold to the Trinidadian, silver to Hughes, and 19.80. That is absolutely sensational. Amoa ran brilliantly for the bronze for Ghana. But Jareem Richards ran a superb bend. Some said Hughes was robbed four years ago, but Richards grabbed the initiative by the scruff of the neck. Hughes was the fastest man in the semis. He was the fastest man in the heats. But Jareem Richards poured on the pace, poured on the pressure, poured on the class, and denied the Englishman the fairy tale finish to a great week in Birmingham. It's an excellent time for the silver, it really is. Amoa did brilliantly for the bronze as well for Ghana. There he is, I saw the flash of yellow as he crossed the line. But that was a performance of real heart for Jareem Richards. And we should pause and remember, he was also running in honour and in memory of his great 4x4 teammate, Dion Lendor.